Today's story, Fernando Fuzzy Nub and the Green Bow Tie by Michelle Craig. Fernando Fuzzy Nub was a happy nub. He loved to smile. He loved his mama and daddy nub. Most of all, he loved his new green bow tie his grandma nub made him over the summer. In fact, he loved it so much he wore it every summer day. He loved the soft, shiny green fabric that reflected in the sunlight. His smile seemed to grow bigger and brighter each time he wore it. Summer was over and the first day of school was tomorrow. Fernando could hardly contain his excitement to show his classmates the green shiny bow tie that glistened in the sun. With sleepy eyes and a hopeful heart, he carefully placed it next to his bed the night before the first day of school. The next morning as Fernando was getting ready for school, he asked Mama Nub, not once, not twice, but three times, is it on straight, Mama? Does it look extra shiny today, Mama? Will it be sunny today at recess, Mama? Fernando hoped the sun would make it shine perfectly when he showed his friends his green bow tie. He imagined their happy smiles when they saw something so beautiful. Mama Nup smiled at him and said, Yes, it will be a beautiful day today, Fernando. She added, remember, it's your smile that truly shines my sweet nub. You can bring happiness to your friends even on a cloudy day. At school, Miss Thiele Nub let everyone share a special story about their summer. Fernando waited patiently as each nub and class shared their best summer adventure. Long days at the pool, traveling to visit family, and helping grow flowers in the garden. Sally Nub even shared a picture of her new puppy. It seemed everyone had an amazing summer. Ooh, ah, excited his turn had finally come and with a giant smile on his face, Fernando told the story of his grandma Nub making his beautiful green bow tie. He shared how he helped pick the shiniest piece of fabric so it would reflect the summer sun and bring smiles to anyone who saw it. Fernando was certain he heard oohs and ahs from the class. Just wait until you see it in the sunshine at recess, Fernando exclaimed. Racing out to recess, Fernando was stopped by Nori and Knox Nub. He was just waiting for them to ask to get a better look at his bow tie when Nori started laughing and pointing. As Knox joined in, Fernando's smile quickly faded. Who would wear such an ugly green bow tie, Knox exclaimed. Hurt by his classmates' words, Fernando ran to the furthest corner of the playground. All alone in the shadows, Fernando's bow tie couldn't shine. The next day as Fernando got ready for school, Mama Nub noticed a crumpled piece of green fabric in a corner of his room. It barely resembled the beautiful bow tie Fernando loved so much. Mama Nup quickly pressed and folded and made it just like new. She placed the bow tie back on his dresser. Fernando was less than excited when he saw his bow tie again. His face dropped. Why so sad, Fernando, said Mama. I don't want to wear it today, Mama. The others said it looks ugly and it didn't even make them smile, he said glumly. It doesn't even shine anymore, he added with a sigh. Mama Nub thought, as she looked at Fernando's sad face and his green bow tie sitting in the sun, then said, It's okay to feel sad, my little Nub. It hurts when others say mean things about something we love. Then she smiled and said, Remember, Fernando, the bow tie shines when it reflects the sunlight, but it's your smile that shines brighter. A smile can reflect what's in your heart, 
It can show kindness and understanding to others. A smile can even bring happiness to our own hearts. Fernando wasn't sure his smile could do all that. He loved how the bright sun reflected off the bow tie. Isn't that what made him happy? How could his mama be right? Could it be his smile that brought happiness? He decided to put the bow tie in his backpack anyway and walk to school. As Fernando found his desk in the classroom, he overheard Nori and Knox teasing Sally, saying mean things about her new puppy. Shoulders slumped, she walked to the seat next to Fernando. Her face looks really sad, he thought. I bet she feels a lot like I did yesterday. If only I had worn my bow tie, it might make her smile. Then Fernando remembered what his mama said, took a deep breath, and with the biggest smile he could muster, said, Hi, Sally. Can I see the photo of your new puppy again? He was really cute. Sally just looked down at the photo she held in her lap. Fernando began again. I know how you feel. Nori and Knox didn't like my green bow tie either. I was really sad. Sally looked up at Fernando. Really? And with a little smile said, I really liked it. This made Fernando's smile even bigger, which in turn made Sally's smile a bit more. Mama Nub was right. I'm not even wearing my bow tie, thought Fernando. The morning went by quickly and it was already time for recess. Fernando placed his green bow tie back on his fuzz as he headed out to meet Sally and the other nubs. Fernando's smile was the biggest and brightest it had ever been. The end.